Hi everybody, Robert Jones back in the kitchen with you today. It's been a while since I've come on camera, but I've uh, been doing lots of different stuff here. Had some great responses to this recipe when I posted some pictures that I made for dinner last week. So I thought, what the heck, let's do it for you guys. This is going to be a curry cauliflower. You guys are going to love it. It's super easy to do. Now, normally I've been trying to do my recipes for you guys from scratch, from the bottom up, so you know all the ingredients that are in there. But today we're going to be using a pre-made product and some non bread which I didn't make but um, this product uh, I'm not endorsed by anybody um, normally I'm doing the stuff from the scratch but today we're gonna be using something called Penang curry paste it's from a company called Mayploy and on the back side you'll see it says no 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 the reason I like this stuff is it has no MSG no preservatives no artificial colors and the only ingredients in it are dried red chilies lemongrass shallot salt garlic galangal which is a type of ginger mung bean which is a bean uh, shrimp paste uh, kefir lime peel, coriander seed, cumin, and pepper. I mean, that's it. It's all like supernatural ingredients. Um, and it comes in this container. It's got a plastic top and it's in a plastic bag. You just snip the corner, squeeze out what you want, and you put this right back in the fridge. So it is perishable, um, but it's a really great product because all of those ingredients, like dried chilies and lemongrass, are expensive to buy and I don't keep that much around the house. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. That was a lot of talking, but check it out. Okay, guys, for today, we're going to be doing like three recipes in one. We're going to be doing rice in here, we're going to be doing some garlic naan bread, and we're also going to be making the curry. So uh, I just wanted to show you how I like to use this, my new rice cooker, which I got from my sister, and I am loving it. Today we are just going to be using some California white rice. It's a long grain. Um, it's been pre-washed, so I don't have to do all that. I don't know if it's been enriched, which means they add vitamins to it. But um, you don't have to wash this. And basically, it's just a 2 to 1 ratio. And I put just a little bit less water than rice. So I'm going to make quite a bit of rice, because you can always use it for other things. Three cups of rice. And now we're just going to put in about five and a half cups of water. All we do is plug it in. I'll turn it here. Plug it in. And I just push the button. Boop. You can see the cook light. Can you see the cook light? It's kind of bright. And I just put the lid on. Boom. In a half an hour, we will have perfect rice. Okay, we're going to start with some coconut milk here. And this is called Tropics Coconut Milk. I uh, often go to the Filipino store because you get really good prices on coconut milk. And this one is called Sagana. So I've never tried either one of these, but you can definitely tell the difference. This one, you can hear it. This one is like solid. So I thought I'd open these and let you guys see. Okay, you can definitely see the difference. This one is like milky and liquid. This one is super fatty and solid. It's not going anywhere. All right, you guys, we're over here at the stove and we're just going to add the coconut milk. You guys are gonna be amazed how easy this recipe is. Just the fatty coconut milk. Wow, that is, that is pretty amazing. This is the Tropics brand. Oh, I hear people arriving. And then just the liquidy one. All right, then we're just gonna crank this up on high. Okay, so our coconut milk is heating up here, so I'm just gonna throw the other ingredients in here. So the first thing we've got, we have one chopped onion. Just gonna put that in there. No mess, no fress. We're gonna put in a couple tablespoons of garlic. About four. And then remember our mayploy curry paste. Um, probably about a quarter cup of this. Smells good. Okay, so that's about a quarter cup of that. And I'm using some sriracha chili sauce, Thai style, from LA. I'm gonna give a good squeeze of that. Okay, we're just gonna let this come to a boil and give it a stir, and we will be back. Okay, this has been cooking for about 10 minutes. Everything is nice and soft. You can see that the red sauce has mixed in. The onions are cooked. So now I'm going to add a bunch of spinach. You don't have to do spinach. I just had some left over and I wanted to use it up and it's going to disappear into there. Or you can use just cauliflower like I'm doing here. And this is two heads of cauliflower. So this is quite a bit. Ooh, it looks like a lot, but it's going to cook down. I'm going to put a lid on this and close it up and we'll check back in about 10 minutes. Okay guys, here's what we got after 10 minutes. I've just given it a little stir. It's starting to cook down. You can see the spinach is almost, you know, disintegrated. Um, cauliflower takes a little bit to do this. Oh, by the way, when you get your cauliflower, I just cut it into bite-sized pieces. Now, what you define that is, is up to you, but I like to be able to put a whole 
a whole chunk in my mouth at a time, not try to gnaw on it. Let's see if we can see. They got still got sauce down there. It's good. It's nice and moist and cooking. We're gonna give it some more time and it should be done probably about 10 or 15 minutes. And some lid. It's the magic time. It's been about 20 minutes and we are done. This is the lusciousness of your curry with your cauliflower and spinach. Yach. Oh, and by the way, my language just got foul because apparently my friends just made this for me. Tropical drinks with gin. Bunny, that's for you. Sippy, sippy. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to get a little flavor of this. As soon as the naan is done, I'm going to take you over there and show you how to make the naan bread. So to go with this dinner, we're going to be having some naan bread. If you guys are not familiar, it's an Indian style bread. It's uh, kind of flat. You can see very flat here. And I uh, got it at uh, Costco. It's only like six bucks for all this bread. And so what we're going to do, we're going to make a garlic spread for this. So about one cube of butter. So about a quarter pound. I'm going to put in a couple pinches of salt since this is unsalted butter. I'm going to put in some fresh ground pepper. And about a tablespoon of garlic. So what's happened now, I'm just going to mix this up. And when it's ready, we'll just spread it on the hot bread when it's ready to serve. So I'll show you guys this mixing here. Helps to have the butter at room temperature. We'll have a vampire free night tonight. Not rocket science. There we go. Just mix it up and we'll smear this when it's time. Okay, our naan is toasted. I've refreshed it. Oh, it's hot. It refreshed it in the toaster. There's a naan and I've got our butter mix here. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and spread it. Spread. Oh my god, that smells good. Spread the goodness. Makes me want Parmesan cheese. All right, that's good. And then I'm just going to give this a couple whacks here into some strips. Okay. Our rice cooker magic has happened and voila. We have rice. You can see it is light, it is fluffy, it is rice. Okay guys, I have to tell you, it's quite funny to be doing this tasting right now because as we speak, there is a fire out of control outside and we're all freaking out trying to finish this video and running around here. It's all, I'm looking out the window, it's all yellow and creepy and the wind is blowing like hell, which is never a good thing when there's a wildfire. So anyway, back to the tasting. So check it out. We've got a piece of lovely naan bread with the garlic. Let's get taste that first. Mmm. Okay, it's butter and garlic on bread. How bad can it be? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we've got our mix here. We've got our cauliflower, we got our spinach, and a little bit of rice. I'm gonna give it a taste. What a hot. Hot. Ooh. It's pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. I think I need to add a little bit of salt to this, but other than that, it's pretty good and it's pretty delicious. So let's give it one more taste. Hot. Mm. All right, guys. Try this. You're going to love it. Okay. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this curry recipe. I think it's quite delicious. i uh, got some friends coming over in a little bit. It's almost ready. And, uh, yeah. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. You don't have to use the Mayploy product. You can use something else if you want to. Just remember your basics and the order. All right, guys. Nice to see you. Check out the store. We got t-shirts, got all kinds of stuff. Uh, doing some crowded today for some reason. But um, happy to see you guys and uh, enjoy.